Hi, I'm Tim McBrayer with the Jim Allen Group. We are looking at this beautiful new home in the Hawthorne neighborhood off Bruce Garner Road in Creedmoor. I'm here with George Rozier, who is one of the builders of this home, along with his wife, Elizabeth. This home is situated on a one acre lot in the beautiful Hawthorne pool community. It is 2,959 square feet with 825 unfinished square feet. It's four bedrooms, three and a half baths, and has a beautiful front porch for a great pond view. Well, this neighborhood, I should say, is really rich in amenities with the pool, the volleyball court, the putting green, the playground. I mean, pond. it's just got everything. The yeah. pond that you can see from the front porch of the home. It's just a great, great location. All right, so tell us a little bit about the exterior of the home. Well, the exterior is comprised of uh, hardy, plank, hardy plank cement siding, uh, stone facade on the porch and also on the garage bump out. Uh, we're using a uh, Atlas lifetime warranty uh, shingle on the roof and a brick foundation with a sealed crawl space, sealed and conditioned crawl space, which is part of our Energy Star qualification, which we'll go over in a little more. All right, now we're here at the front door area, front porch area. George, why don't you tell us something about uh, the look of this, this design? Uh, we incorporated a, a barrel vault entry, as you can see, uh, with stained beadboard, and the doors are a double door mahogany um, with our uh, shutters to match, and uh, the stone exterior on the the stone veneer on the uh, porch. So a very large porch area for a couple full of rocking chairs and to enjoy the view. Okay, so back here in the backyard, we have a back porch. Right, it'll, uh, it's not quite complete. It needs to be uh, stained, and then we will also install the screen. So it'll be a screened-in porch with a door. Okay. And, um, and you have a large backyard area. Yes, it's a very large area. Again, this is a one-acre lot, and uh, there's quite a large yard here for, uh, for children to play in. And mm -hmm. we have a privacy berm that we installed with 14 Leland Cypress trees back there to kind of... Uh, create some separation from the neighbor. And they grow fast and tall, don't they? Yes, they do. What you're seeing here is not only the Foxwood logo and their telephone number, but it's showing that this is an Energy Star home, as George mentioned when we first started talking about the home. But it's also an EBA, EPA Indoor Plus qualified home. And George, can you tell us a little bit about both of those programs? Sure. The uh, Energy Star qualification on this house is incorporating the latest of the Energy Star uh, 2.5 guidelines. Um, we do certain things in framing to ensure that we have proper insulation techniques. Um, we incorporate a sealed crawl space to uh, condition the underneath of the house and to mitigate any kind of mold and moisture issues. The Indoor Air Plus is an add-on to Energy Star from the Department of Energy and the EPA. And it's designed basically to create a healthier home. So you'll see when we go through the home that we have, we've used finishes that have low VOCs uh, to reduce the chemicals in there. Our woods are formaldehyde free. Um, the condition crawl space is part of this as well to, to mitigate mold. We do a lot of things on the roofing to ensure that any moisture and water is uh, properly flashed and, and away from the home. So it's all about keeping the home dry and clean and, uh, and healthy to breathe. Well, I was going to ask, why should this be important to a home purchaser? Well, uh, basically one in uh, five people have a family member that have asthma, and uh, indoor air quality can actually be worse than the outdoor air quality. So we build the house very tight, we build it with the low chemical products, and we actually bring in fresh air, clean it, and condition it uh, to ensure that the house breathes properly. Okay. and. Um in terms of you being one of just a handful of people doing this program in the triangle, I mean, how many builders would you say are actually offering uh, this? We don't know of any in this area that have actually earned the qualification. We are the first as of what we know in Wake County and in Granville County to uh, to get the qualification here. So we're kind of pioneering this. Well, that's great. It's certainly something that is good for the homeowner. Yes, absolutely. Okay, we've just come inside the home and we are here with George. And George, why don't you tell us about what you call the Foxwood Advantage? Well, thanks, Tim. The Foxwood Advantage, basically, we covered a couple of the items already. The Energy Star qualification, which we'll talk about in more detail. The Indoor Air Plus qualification, what we call practical design, and then also our green-built uh, features of the home. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is that this dining room uh, actually doubles as a study. So the buyer, through our research and listening to realtors and, and people we know, uh, we understand that a lot of folks don't really use the formal dining rooms too much anymore and would rather have the space used as an office, for example. 
So what we've done in this particular thing is created what's called a flex space, where this room can be left open and used as a formal dining room, or if you would like to use it as a home office or study, you can go ahead and create privacy by closing the pocket doors and having an office environment. The room is wired for internet and telephone as well, so it can double, you know, either our and now light fixture here. You'll see that there's a saw that you had to right. You you had the the place where they can add the chandelier. That's right. So if they choose this to be a dining room, we'll install the chandelier. If they choose this to be a study or office, we'll go ahead and install the uh, the ceiling. Fan. Okay. All right. So like, and as people come and visit the home, they're going to see these signs that's right. about the Foxwood Advantage right here in a number of your rooms, mm -hmm. so they can get more details. That's right. Okay. So as we proceed here, I'm just going to take a look up here at the second floor window here in the foyer. Beautiful chandelier, beautiful metal railing here on the steps. And why don't you tell us a little bit, uh, why don't we go this way into the family room and then you can tell us about the kitchen. Okay. Family room, this is one of our Foxwood signature features where we incorporate a corner fireplace. This allows for this wall to be used very freely uh, as an entertainment center wall, mm -hmm. so you're not tied to just having the TV over the fireplace. Uh, we have, again, cable TV, internet wired in the house as well. Right. Uh, we, we always incorporate a, a stepped-up coffered ceiling in mm -hmm. the uh, great room to give it more more volume. Okay. And we are another one of our design features is the open uh, this floor plan designed for gathering. So we have a very large island in the kitchen, as you can mm -hmm. see, with uh, seating for two or three stools here. Right. Um, the kitchen also incorporates a uh, single bowl sill granite, Blanco sill granite sink, mm -hmm. which is uh, really nice. We actually have one of these in our home and we love this sink. Um, so it allows you to put big pots and pans in there and wash them up. Right. Know, and it problem. can come in different colors too, can't it? I believe, yeah, it's available in a couple different colors, mm -hmm. yes. But this is the one that went nicely with that. Uh, stainless steel Frigidaire Pro Series appliances. This is a convection oven with a warming drawer, and then we have the microwave on top, mm -hmm. um, and then the first the dishwasher. We have a little trash right. center on the, uh, not a compactor, but a trash center, if you will, mm -hmm. over here for the uh, recyclables and okay. garbage in there as well. And electrical outlets if you want to yep, lay sides. your laptop up here or some uh, kitchen appliance. And we have lots of cabinets. On this side, we have a large cabinet as well. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, we have a series of drawers. All right. Well, let's proceed into the rest of the first floor. Do you want to? Oh, yes. Yeah, so I want to point out the butler pantry. Sure. Another one of our Foxwood features here is we really like to incorporate large walk-in pantries. Very large. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then we have the butler pantry. So again, there's also a pocket door on this side to create that full separation if you use this room as an office. As an office. Got it. Okay. All right. And if you're a cook, you need all that space in that pantry. That's right. <laughs> All right. Why don't you lead us down this way to the sure. rest of the first floor? Let me show you this closet here. Okay. The central uh, closet. This is kind of our little control center. Mm -hmm. We have the uh, whole house uh, main shot off for the water here. Uh -huh. uh, and this panel is the on cube panel where we have the terminations for the uh, the home network and okay. the cable TV. And then also over here, there's a, a control unit for the fresh air ventilation system. Oh, I see. As we mentioned, we're bringing in fresh air from the outside because the house is so tightly built. Mm -hmm. We have to bring in fresh air clean it, condition it, um, but in the event that the outside air, if there's smoke or something in the air, is worse outside, you may want to override that, so that's what this allows you to do. Okay. So we have all those features in one location. All right, very good. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, well straight ahead we have uh, the entrance to the master bedroom on the right. Okay. We have a powder room here on the left side. Right, okay. And then we have here the actual laundry room, which also has a door connected to the master bedroom this closet. This is very unique. This is another one of our Foxwood Advantage design features, mm -hmm. which again, we think a lot of homeowners will enjoy being able to just open the door and take their laundry in next door. Right. You have a very large walk-in closet with lots of custom wood shelving. That's right. We have double shelves up here, which is kind of unique too. You don't see this too often in the closets. Oh, yes, you're right. So yeah. We really like that as a well. A lot of room for those shoes and other things mm -hmm. that... Uh, people right. collect. Then here's the master bathroom. Uh -huh. um, we went with a theme using uh, marble here. Uh -huh. Upper door dark marble. Incorporated that in the shower as well as the uh, top here for the, right. uh, the vanity. Don't want to get myself in the video. They don't want to see <laughs> me. They want to see your beautiful home. Okay, double sinks. Uh, large. Oil bronze fixtures throughout mm -hmm. the first floor. 
the uh, tile inlay there in the shower. Privacy window, but it lets in lots of natural light. Right. Yeah, it's really pretty. Very nice. Okay. Master bedroom here is uh, has a nice tray ceiling in there. Uh huh. Offers a nice uh, retreat from the rest of the home. Right. Okay. And lots of windows if you would like to have light in the room. Right, but plenty of wall space to put plenty furniture. Plenty of space, yes. Mm -hmm. So like 14 by 16. So we're now coming up to the second floor of these beautiful wood steps. And ahead of us is the bonus room. That's right. This bonus room is a step up because it is over the great room, which mm -hmm. has that vaulted ceilings, or the uh, coffer ceiling, I should say. So it's a very large room as well. And we have a vaulted ceiling in here to create some extra volume. Right. And it looks out over the yard. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, access to one of the unfinished storage spaces here. So there's room to store our items in this particular. Um, and also in here is our radon vent, which is part of the indoor air plus qualification. Uh -huh. Even though this area, we don't require the radon mitigation system, we put it in just as a preventative measure. And then we also give the homeowner two test kits um, to check for radon every year. Okay, very here good. Here we have uh, a walk-in unfinished storage space of about 200 and some feet. There's okay. some extra material in there still, but uh, okay. Plenty of room to store our items. People have junk, don't they? And they need a place to store stuff. it. You gotta store your stuff. That's right. This is bedroom four, which is, has a private bath. Okay. And a walk-in closet. All right, so each of our closet. bedrooms we try to design in a walk-in closet. Right. And of course, this has a, a private bath. Nice tile floor. Okay. Again, I don't want to get myself if I can help it. And the transom over the tub, right. which again lets in a lot of natural light. Mm -hmm. well, we have a very large, uh, we have a pull down stair to the uh, attic access area, which uh -huh. is really not for storage, just for the maintenance of the uh, heating and air conditioning equipment. Okay. Uh, we have a very large linen closet here. Okay. So more stuff, more yep. storage, lots of storage. Families need it. Yep. And then we have the shared bath here, the hall bath for these two bedrooms. So okay. it has a double sink. All right. And then a, a private, uh, private bathroom and toilet area. Okay. Got it. Very good. All right. And then these bedrooms are rather identical in size. Okay. And this particular one has a very large, and these are all wired, pre-wired for ceiling fans too. So if you want to install a ceiling fan, you have the light switch there. We have there. the switches for the light mm -hmm. and the, uh, the fan itself. This okay. one has a rather large. Uh -huh. uh, Again, a lot closet. of custom shelving. Right. And then also access to uh, the over the garage, large area of unfinished storage as well. Oh my goodness. Yes, it's, it's rather large. That is a large area. So you can store lots of things in there. Yes, you can. Uh, yeah, like I said, we have 825 square feet of unfinished storage space. We'll cut a door into this if you wanted to make a full height access door. Door to that space. Yeah, and even finish it off. How well. much would that add to the cost if someone wanted you to do that? Uh, I don't know offhand. If to finish the room? No, just, just to add the, the door? door? Oh, a few hundred dollars. Okay. This is the last bedroom on the second. Mm -hmm. And as you say, these two bedrooms are sharing that hall bath. Correct. Okay. Now this one has a conventional. All right. Well, but again, you have the the shelving. The custom so. built in is right. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Uh, most important features again: 29.59 square feet finished, four bedrooms, three and a half baths. 825 square feet of unfinished space, Energy Star qualified, in EPA Indoor Air Plus qualified, so it's better for your health, and of course better for your pocketbook. Again, it's a very tightly built house. We've really gone the extra mile over and above the specifications for Energy Star to make it uh, really tight so there's not a lot of air infiltration and leakage. Uh, again, green built, we're using locally sourced materials. Um, formaldehyde free recycled content like the carpet, the insulation, it all contains recycled materials. So we're really trying to make it a green build product. And uh, it's $400,000 and available, moving ready right now. So come on down and take a look. All right. I'm Tim McBrayer with the Jim Allen Group at Coldwell Banker Howard Perry in Walston. And uh, we hope you'll visit the Jim Allen website, jimallen.com, or you can visit my website, thetrianglesbroker.com, and uh, get additional information about this beautiful home and other homes in the area. And uh, we hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Thanks, George. Thank you.